Hey guys, um, for those of you that don't know, um, I'm Raquel Amara Thomas and I'm also a filmmaker. Um, been super busy writing, preparing for what's next, but also uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the projects that I do and why I make them and what drives me to create what I create. Um, tonight I'm gonna talk about Transworld Atlanta. Transworld Atlanta is a TV series, eight episodes, uh, it's airing on Amazon Prime as well as Tubi. Um, this is life-changing. Transworld Atlanta tells the story of transgendered individuals living in Atlanta. I think what's unique about this show is there's no other show that focuses on trans men. Oftentimes trans men go without being noticed. Um, the worst thing that happens is they may be seen as a, a gay man, but the reality is uh, trans men have been around for a very long time and hiding in some instances because they're not safe. Uh, trans men are born female and they transition to male. Um, I felt it very important to tell this story. One, because God gave it to me to tell. I was praying for God to give me a project that had meaning, a project that would change lives, a project that would help somebody, save a life. I went to bed and <laughs> I dreamed Transworld. I dreamed the show, I could see it vividly. Um, and from there, I took the necessary steps, obviously, to create the show, but a lot of people ask me, why did you invest in that? There were so many things you could have invested in. There were so many shows or films you could have done. And I said, you know, because God gave it to me, I, I asked for this and God gave it to me. I did not want to be disobedient, number one. I didn't want to do something that was safer because I knew this project wasn't safe. I knew that people would look at me different. I knew that it may not be accepted as well, but God said to me very clearly and gave me the vision of trans world very clearly. So I moved forward with the project, but also I grew up with a cousin that was transgender. Um, so all of my life in the eighties and nineties, I grew up with a cousin that identified as trans and I watched my cousin contract HIV and die of full-blown AIDS. I was still in high school. So I knew what transgender was before there was a name for it. And I saw someone that I loved, that I cared about, my mom's best friend. Uh, my cousin was my mom's best friend. Um, they were first cousins, we were second cousins. So uh, this person was near and dear to our family. My grandmother took them in, um, in the last days. So I find it important to share real stories and to share stories of black and brown people. But from experience, the things that I write about, the things that I um, produce, uh, the movies that I make, the series that I made, um, all come from my experiences as a human being, um, things that I've gone through personally, things that I have lived to see. So trans world is very near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm not transgender, I was born a woman, I identify as lesbian, but I think it's so important for us to stand for humanity. Um, I am so thankful to GLAAD Media Awards for the nomination. We are in a category with giants. Thank you to every single uh, nominee uh, for being willing to share these stories. Um, congratulations to the networks. Congratulations to all the um, cast members of each show. Congratulations. I, it's a big deal to be uh, seen. Um, Transworld is an independent film. I paid for it 100% of my pocket. I didn't have a million dollar budget like some of the people were competing against um, networks, uh, Hulu, TLC, Netflix, Max, Bravo, 
all amazing networks that put out amazing projects. So for Trans World Atlanta to be nominated with this group of uh, networks and and shows, I'm, I'm humbled, I'm grateful, I'm thankful, uh, forever grateful for uh, GLAAD Media Awards for seeing uh, Trans World. I often feel unseen um, sometimes as a mother, um, sometimes as a black woman, but oftentimes as a filmmaker. So for this project to be seen, it means the world to me. It means the world to the cast. And this is impossible without the cast. So for the cast and to the cast of Trans World Atlanta, I thank you for being bold. I thank you for being fearless. I thank you for sharing your story because I know that it could have put you in harm's way. Um, Coco, Kokomo City was a, a project that we all adore and we saw uh, one of those castmates be murdered simply out of hate. So I thank my cast for being willing to share their stories. Um, so thankful for every supporter, everyone that sat and watched uh, Trans World Atlanta. Thank you. I'm humbled. Um, Trans World had some early success as well. We won an international film festival with Trans World Atlanta, but we're also turned away from many film festivals um, here in the States. So we're uh, thankful for that international group of people seeing us. But most important, I wanted to say that when God gives you something, don't walk away from it, even if it's scary. Do it afraid, do it scared, because you never know what's on the other side. You never know what God has in store. So I'm thankful for the vision of Trans World Atlanta. If you haven't seen Trans World Atlanta, it's playing on Amazon Prime and Tubi. It's free on Tubi. Uh, you have to pay to see it on Amazon Prime, but please check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, Season two is coming. Season two is coming. It has been a tall order. We're still looking for networks to pick us up, but we're going to continue to do the work. Um, Trans World has it's just led to so many things. We have now our Trans World podcast, which is on all major platforms, also on YouTube. So if you haven't seen the podcast, please check it out. Um, we have through our foundation, Dreamcatchers Foundation, we are now... Uh, focused on black men that identify as transgender, gay, bisexual, or queer um, that are at a high risk of HIV or who is living with HIV. Um, now that is my life's work and I'm so thankful to God that he's given me vision, that he's given me clarity, and that he's given me a purpose with Trans World Atlanta that goes beyond the TV screen, but just helping people and pouring into people. So thank you so much, GLAAD Media Awards. Thank you for everyone that stands in the gap. Um, it's a big deal to be nominated. Uh, the LA Awards happened just a few days ago. Uh, Oprah took the stage. She shouted out her brother, Jeffrey Lee, who was a black gay man. Um, you know, thank you, Oprah, for standing in the gap, for always supporting the LGBTQIA community. We thank you. Um, Glad is doing amazing work every single day, not just with TV, film, and music, but also advocating, advocating for those in this community. So thank you, Glad. Thank you for the nomination. I'm Raquel Lamar Thomas, and um, I'm the director, writer, creator of Trans World Atlanta. Thank you.